<laughs> Hi, Ken. Thanks for joining me today on Super User TV. I know that you're very involved in the OpenStack community as a whole, but more importantly, in the Northeast United States. So can you introduce yourself and what you do and um, what user groups you're involved in? Sure. Thank, thanks, Allison. Thanks for having me on. So uh, my name is Ken Hoy. I'm over at Rackspace in, uh, as a senior technical marketing manager in the OpenStack business unit. So mainly my job is produce a lot of good, hopefully good technical content to help uh, Rackspace customers and prospects learn more about OpenStack. Uh, and I've been involved with the uh, OpenStack user group community since 2013. Um, I'm currently a co-organizer for the New York user group and also the Philadelphia user group. Uh, in addition, uh, back around 2014, uh, the, the OpenStack Foundation created a, a group called the OpenStack Ambassadors. And, and um, several of us were kind of named to be on that initial group. And our job is basically to help uh, you groups around the, around the, really around the world um, kind of get going and, and help them uh, with maintaining the group. So uh, currently I have responsibility for a number of groups, um, primarily uh, groups that are east of the Mississippi River. Wow. Um, so, and that's a lot, that's a lot of people, um, and the, you know, that you're representing. So what kind of people in the community or even organizations do you represent in your group and kind of how have you seen that grow? I mean, just over the last three years. Yeah. So, um, in both the New York and Philadelphia group, which is the two groups I'm, since I'm a co-organizer, I'm, I'm most involved. It's, it's, uh, as you, as it kind of mirrors the growth of OpenStack, it actually started with a lot of vendors. <laughs> Lots and lots of vendors uh, and, uh, and some partners uh, that join. Uh, what I'm seeing now, though, is as uh, adoption of OpenStack kind of grows, I'm seeing more and more users. Um, and in particular, it was interesting in the last few, I would say in the last six months to a year, I'm, I'm definitely seeing an upshot in the number of people who, who uh, were, for example, VMware administrators and who are now kind of taking a look at OpenStack and, uh, and have heard that the, you know one of the good ways to learn about OpenStack is to join a user group. That's really awesome. I know the user group program has grown globally, so it's kind of nice to see different kinds of people join and get involved in the community. Um, so how often do y'all meet? And then kind of tell me what y'all are doing this month to celebrate the OpenStack sixth birthday. Yeah, sure. So we, ch um, we target to meet uh, once a month. It uh, doesn't always work out. Um, being <laughs> being on the, in the Northeast, we've had a uh, couple of meetings that were canceled because of blizzards. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. uh, so on average, I would say we meet between, uh, we really, even though we target every month, we really meet maybe nine to ten times a year, um, which is you know, frequent enough, I think, for people to feel like they are part of something that's ongoing. Um, so uh, you mentioned this is the sixth birthday of OpenStack. So both the New York and the Philadelphia group are having celebrations. New York one just happened. Um, and it was great. We had, uh, we had a good about 50 people join the group. Um, we, had, uh, we had a birthday cake uh, and some stickers that we were able to hand out. Um, it, uh, one of the things that we were actually kind of celebrating in conjunction with the fact that it was the sixth birthday, uh, the, open, the ambassadors program actually just created um, what we call official OpenStack user groups, where we recognize some of the user groups that have been going on that they meet certain criteria. Um, and as part of being recognized, we basically have created um, user group specific OpenStack logos um, with the OpenStack awesome. group name. So uh, we were able to get that for the, both the New York and Philadelphia group. So in the New York group, the birthday cake actually had our OpenStack New York uh, logo on it, uh, which was uh, fun. Um, That's great. Yeah, and one of the things we did was because we were seeing so many uh, new people, especially from the VMware space, I actually gave a presentation on kind of the history of VMware's involvement with OpenStack and where that stands today. And then we also had, a, a, I think, Allison, you were good enough to uh, send over a presentation that kind of walks <laughs> through um, kind of, I would say, the year in OpenStack <laughs> in particular. <laughs> Um, and we also walk through that and then just uh, spend the most of the time enjoying some food and enjoying the cake. Uh, that's, so that's awesome. In, it's great. Yeah. Sorry. So that's in New York. Uh, Philadelphia is actually next week. Um, and 
similarly, we'll have a cake there. Um, uh, and th because we have a slightly smaller group, um, we could do more of the budget. <laughs> so we're actually, <laughs> we're actually making OpenStack uh, t-shirts using the Philadelphia OpenStack user group logo that we got from the foundation. So, nice. That's really awesome and yep. great to see that both of those groups are recognized. Yeah. Awesome. And so six years in, you've been in the community for a really long time. So what do you see as the next step? What's coming next for OpenStack, uh, both, as project as, and a, both as a project and as a community? Yeah, so I think, um, I think going forward, I, um, again, we're, we have to kind of find that balance. I think there is now a good number of um, people who've been in the OpenStack community for a while and are using a lot of the projects and then kind of going, what's next? You know, you know this, for example, containers is big. How do we do containers? How do we do bare metal? But at the same time, we've got a number of people where, where this is completely new and they're just trying to get it off on the ground floor. And it's, um, I know that in the user group, it's sometimes hard to maintain that balance. I think the, and as a community as a whole, we need to figure out how do we make sure that we're able to meet the needs of those more advanced users but at the same time, not running ahead so far fast um, that new people can't, you know, that the, uh, entry, the barrier to entry is too high for new users. Um, yeah, I think that's really important. Yeah, continue. Yeah. And then the other thing we talked, I actually mentioned um, when I was at the, at the celebration, like I said, uh, the, our job as technologists hasn't got, even though there's so many great technologies, um, our job actually hasn't gotten easier. It's actually gotten harder in that there are so many new technologies that are coming down the pipe now every, uh, every few months instead of every few years. And uh, OpenStack, um, it has to, the community as a whole has to be able to figure out how to help us kind of navigate through those new technologies and help us figure out which ones make sense and which ones may need to wait and help us be able to kind of, as the foundation talked about, be an integration engine for all these new technologies. Awesome. Yeah, I definitely think I agree. I feel like every summit we bring up a new technology or something new that's emerging that, yes, you know, we're a community or a technology that we're working with. So I think that's definitely a great point. Um, and to keep in mind those new folks that are entering the ecosystem that not to create that um, entry level to where it's too difficult, and too complex to understand. Um, well, awesome. Well, thank you again, Ken, for joining me today. And I appreciate you talking about your user groups and what your focus is and how that group has grown over the last three years. Uh, thank you, and I uh, really appreciate the support of Foundation. The New York group in particular is, I think, actually one of the oldest groups. It was actually mm -hmm. started in 2010, even, uh, even before I got involved. And, uh, you know, the Foundation has been great at supporting us and helping us get to basically our, our sixth year as well as a user group. Thank you. Awesome. I'd love to hear that. Yeah. Well, thank you again, and um, enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Thank you, Allison.